All right, let's continue. And if you're at the previous page, just click continue so you can get to this. Uh, the place we want to go now is we just want to quickly see what the next step is. And I just went to firebase.google.com slash docs. Uh, and you can just uh, search for this or just look at the screen here. But what we want to do is this is just a documentation for how to use Firebase. And there's a ton of documentation here. Much of you will probably never read or use. But some of the things we want to use uh, is here, if you just set up your development environment, scroll down, or follow my screen here, is we need to do an npm install. Uh, and I just went to this one because this is uh, from on, on npmjs.com. And here we want to add our, in our, <laughs> our Firebase into our Vue.js um, project here. That's, this is going well for me today. Um, but if you scroll down and or just type this, you can see here it says npm install dash dash save and Firebase. So this will save Firebase to our project. So that's what we're going to do. And this is uh, what we want to do. So I'm going to make this up here so we can see what I'm doing. I'm going to stop my uh, server from running and I'm going to paste in npm uh, install dash dash save Firebase. So this should, yes, and I'm in the correct folder, make sure you are. So this should install Firebase into our view.js project. Uh, not dot js just our project uh, and in here we can start uh, making changes to uh, our system but now it recognizes that we're using firebase so we can use different com commands and uh, methods and so on inside the system so let's see i'm gonna expand this see if we need any have any problems it looks fine all right so let's fire back this back up npm run serve so we can still see our page and i'm gonna make this so i can see that one all right now, the next thing we want to do is we want to uh, switch a, little, a few things inside our application here because it's being, uh, it's being added into uh, Vue.js now. And what we want to do inside our Firebase.js file is we want to do the import Firebase and it recognizes this, so that's good, from and uh, single quotation Firebase slash app. So this is calling it, and this will imp well, we will import uh, Firebase slash Firestore because that's what we're gonna do or uh, use into our application as well. So click save, um, let that run. If it doesn't run, that's cool. But this is the basic setup. But I kind of want to do a little bit more in here because I want to make it easier for me once we start actually extracting data, sending data. Uh, deleting, editing, and data, and so on. So I'm going to create a, a constant in here, and I'm going to export this. The reason why I want to do this is if we go in here uh, to st start setting, seeing this, so if I just click here, I want to add data, and we wait for the screen to load, if I clicked it. As you can see here, there are like this DB collection cities, dot, 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 LA, and these many different weird things here, right? But instead of having to type some of these things multiple times, I'm just going to save them as a variable inside my uh, .js file here and then just use those instead. The first one I want to create is, uh, I want to export it first so we can use it other places. It's an export and a constant because it's not going to change uh, like a variable on a let. So I'm going to name this db and I'm going to set this to firebase.firestore for now. And this is just saving basically this this here into this one. So that's basically what I'm creating variable. And I'm gonna export another thing as well. So this will be uh, my co my connection to my store in here. So in, where I created my shop here in a little bit, we'll create a database in here. And we need to target this one at the collection or what if you're uh, known into relational databases and the table we want to collect to um, or the database. So what we're gonna, I'm gonna name this DB menu add because the first one we wanna create is a, uh, a add. So set this to equal and then we grab the DB collections. So basically this firebase.fire store and then we do dot collection. And again, if you see here, this is basically what they're doing here, sort of, they also call it DB. And then they do collection and then they uh, set the name of whatever it is. And so in our case, it's going to be, let's do parentheses in here, single quotations. I'm gonna call it menu items because that's basically what it is, right? So this will export uh, these things so we can use, instead of having to type Firebase.firestore, 
dot collection and dot so on every time for every component if I needed to grab information, send information and so on. So we're just doing it this now and like kind of like we're getting them ready to be used later on. All right, so that's setting up our Firebase file and in the next video we'll continue with Firebase.